All right, guys, let's check out this ball watch here. This one has some tricks up its sleeve for sure that are very interesting to me. So big thanks to the crew over at Exquisite Time Pieces, Naples, Florida. Link in the description down below. Let's dig into this one. Here's the hang tag. Here's the part number. I'll put a direct link in the description down below so you can just click it, go right to Exquisite Time Pieces. They have it on sale uh, well below the retail price. I think they have it on sale right now for $2,700. So still a lot of money, but you're getting their new, not new, but newer in-house movement, right? Really good job that Ball did on the in-house movement. You're getting a ton of tritium tubes in this thing, very unique layout of them, and just a really well-built, heavy-duty dive-style watch. So uh, case on this, I actually measure 41 and a half, although the bezel does overhang a little bit, quite a bit actually, if you look at the overhang on that. The bezel is actually 43 and a half, so about a millimeter on each side. Uh, lug to lug on the longer side at 51 and a half ish right in there and you can see you don't have spring bars it looks like they're screwed in so that bracelet's probably going to stay on there uh, thickness 14 and a half millimeter sapphire crystal obviously sapphire bezel insert you have a nice date magnifier as well 22 millimeter lug width you have polished center links tapering down to 18 millimeter bracelets nice and heavy duty as is the butterfly clasp a really nice heavy duty one for sure and it is signed pretty cool case back here as well you have a diver on the back there these this one is limited edition this is number 264 of only a thousand it is a uh, three yeah 300 meter water depth rating on this if we zoom in we can see um, some of the cool stuff going on here other than the movement the movement is just amazing so research that movement. Actually, I'll probably put a link down below in the description as well so you can click it. And uh, Ball does a really good job explaining their product. So that's actually pretty nice of them to do so. Beautiful blue dial on this. Really nice tritium indexes. You have a 12 and a 6 that are applied. Nice hand set on this. Check out the red tip, arrow skeletonized tip on the minute hand. I haven't really handled a watch that has that. You also have... The hour hand is skeletonized towards the tip as well, and then you have a red-tipped seconds hand with the railroad balance on the back side of that. The other really special thing about this watch is the bezel insert itself, right? It is sapphire. It does have like a vintage kind of bubble to it. You can kind of see there, but they actually laid tritium tubes in there. In total, the watch has 40 tritium tubes, 40 of those suckers. So very, very extreme loaded up tritium tubed watch. So the visibility on this in low light and no light conditions definitely is going to be spectacular. You can kind of see there if I hit it at an angle with the UV light, it just, there's a ton of tritium tubes in here. So it's going to be pretty fun. Hopefully we can capture it on video. Let's pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what that looks like. This in-house movement is COSE, it is chronometer grade, and it has an 80 hour power reserve. Here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Nice, powerful diver, really fills that space, but yet is very comfortable. All right, let's kill the lights and let's see the tritium, if it'll shine through on this for us. So there you can kind of see it. Yeah, you guys can definitely see it. They did such a great job with this, like overkill with the uh, tritium on this thing. Insane job. All right, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you on the next video.